and get back to the party. Greta, this is lobster rolls we're talking about. We're in South Freeport and we're at Harasikit Lobsters, which has some amazing fried clams, as I remember from the last time. All right. Thank you. Thank Have a you great so day. much. That was great. No oh, mayo in the yeah, just all lobster. Just the lobster meat, right? On a toasted hot dog bun, right? But that's the case. Sometimes you get like a cold hamburger bun. Yeah, that's yeah, not yeah. Lobster. Bun. I agree. <laughs> lobster. That was. Oh, because it's red. New England clam. Gotcha. Right there. And this is the lazy Susan. Mm. <laughs> Looks like you like the lobster bisque a little bit more than the uh, than the clam chowder. Gotta be totally honest with you. What is it about the Some bisque? Um, it's getting a nice lobster flavor in there. Yeah. Here I was getting more of a cream flavor, not so much clams. Interesting. Sometimes, sometimes I like to combine the flavors. Huh. That's for sure about lobster clam bisque. Is, is that proper? against the law? It may, be, it may be against New England code. <laughs> mm. I think you can get arrested for that. You might be able to. Be, no, they'll totally give you a ticket here. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm. Um, right outside the lobster pickup window and uh, I'm hoping the ladies might let me see them steam a lobster in the giant steamer. I'm gonna ask them right now. So far what I've learned is uh, when they when they need to make lobster rolls, they use the they use the claws and the, the broken lobsters and they label it S C U L L Escal. And that's like any lobster that um, they can't sell for a regular price, they'll boil and they'll turn that into uh, just lobster meat for the lobster roll. So and that's a steamer there that, that um, will steam corn, steamers, little clams, and uh, and lobsters all at one time. So they just dunk the whole basket in for uh, like 15 minutes, pull it up, and they've got an entire meal ready to go. So that's my brother and brother-in-law down there fishing. And it may not appear that they know what they're doing, but believe it or not, <laughs> they just hooked a bass just out at the end point. I saw a loon and uh, I'm going to try to call him in. There's a plane flying overhead. But this is how you do a proper loon call. Cup your hands together like this. Make an opening like you would blow a whistle on a chestnut and then Sort of. Hold on. Bobby's in. Okay. Steam it up. Then, what are you doing there, ready? <laughs> Beautiful.